Someone recently asked me to do a tutorial on the rolling credits function in Title Pro 7. I realised then that I hadn't done one, so I'm going to correct that oversight now. This function is very handy when you want to create a credit roll without the need for keyframe animation. Welcome to this short tutorial, number 48. You launch the TP7 plugin from your NLE as usual. I'm using Vegas Pro 19, so I have to drag the TP7 generator media event onto the timeline. This will open the TP7 UI. When working with rolling credits, it's best to do a bit of preparation work beforehand. There's no import text function in TP7, so the best thing to do is to create a text file with all your text strings. You must place a tab character in your strings where you want the column delimited to be. It's also a good idea to get a sense of how slow the text should scroll so that it can be read easily. Don't worry about this too much as it can be finalised later. The next thing to do is prepare the text box in TP7. You may not need to do this, but the text fit mode should be set to fit box to text if it's not already set to that. I'll now copy the text in the text file. I'll then double click inside the TP7 text box to highlight the default text and paste using Ctrl V. You can't right click and select paste because when you right click the highlight disappears so the default text gets mixed in with the pasted text. I now need to set the position of the text box, if necessary, by adjusting the X position value under the Global tab. I prefer just to click the position rotating arrow to set the values to default. At this stage you can make any changes to the text, such as font, font size, colour etc, using the normal methods. Now with the text box or the text element selected, I can go to the global tab and go down to the NTX playback features section. I can then place a check mark in the rolling credits checkbox. One important thing to note about Title Pro 7, sometimes it refuses to render a title and this can lead you to believe that you've made a mistake or that some setting is wrong. 
To work around this, simply click inside the text box and make a change. Remove a character or change one. This will force TP7 to render the title and it should play OK after that. With the check mark in the rolling credits checkbox, the speed parameter will be displayed. This value ranges from 1 to 10, where 1 is the slowest speed. This is where you can alter the speed of the scroll. Now, as you can see, I've altered the speed, but the scroll is the same. It looks as if the title isn't being rendered properly. Now I've made that little change, the title is scrolling at the correct speed. So as you can see, you have to be a little bit careful with that, just to make sure the title is rendered every time you make a change. Now, a successful scroll, one where the text fully completes its scroll just before the end of the event, and where the text movement enables comfortable reading, basically depends on two things. The length in seconds of the event, and the scroll speed of the text. How these two factors can be reconciled is down to personal choice. What I would do is to first change the speed parameter to, say, 3, then play the title. If the scroll is too fast, I can reduce the speed to 2 and play it again. Basically, you want to adjust the speed slider until you get a nice comfortable scroll speed. When I have that set in right, which seems to be 3, I'll make a note of the time value at the side. That's 13.4 seconds. Then I'll go to the host and change the length of the event to suit.
I then need to go back into TP7's UI and click on the timeline. This will update the NLE time parameter and I can then check the scroll. The credit roll can be modified further. All the parameters under the style tab can be used to modify the text. These parameters will affect all the text in the text box unless part of the text is selected. In this case only the selected text will be affected. An example is the horizontal alignment in paragraph parameter. This will determine how the columns in the credits will display. Left will left justify the columns. Center will align the center right and center left of the columns. Right will right justify the columns. And justify will align the left and right of the columns. Under the Global tab there's a Column Width control. This will increase or decrease the space in between the columns. The default value is 1, which is normally sufficient. The use of this setting will obviously depend upon the font size and text length. Title Pro 7 has a number of issues. One of the frustrating ones is its refusal sometimes to render the title. This has happened to me more than normal in this tutorial. This can cause a lot of confusion, but as I mentioned earlier, there is a workaround for that issue. That being said, the rolling credits function can be very handy, especially if you're not comfortable with keyframe animation. With a little preparation it can be implemented fairly quickly. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. If it has, please show your support by subscribing. If you have any questions, I'm happy to receive those as well, and I'll answer them if I can. Until the next time, bye for now.